Uh, hello all, uh, in this video tutorial I want to show you the basic setup for interactive demolition which allows you to directly break object during simulation like right now I have this one object and I want it to fall down to this ground and to be broken at impact so uh, all I need to do is select this object and put it inside dynamic object list here and select this ground and put it to static kinematic objects list here and the next step is to go to the physics tab inside demolition properties rollout and turn on demolish geometry property here so uh, right now you can start simulation and one important thing is that you can if you will start preview uh, demolish geometry will go off because you cannot start interactive demolition during preview As you can see it's off now so uh, interactive demolition works only in bake mode so make sure your demolish geometry is on and you are baking animation okay now you can see that it, wa it wasn't demolished and this is because my material solidity is pretty high here because in real life if, uh, uh, as you can see it's it has material of porous rock uh, so in real life if such porous rock will fall down from such height about uh, five meters here it won't be demolished so uh, this value of material solidity one is mimic real world simulation and up in case you want to demolish this rock uh, in any case you can change material here to some other materials uh, or you can decrease global material solidity property here and make it pretty low like 0.1 and if you will start simulation again okay, you can see now it starts demolishing so if you are if you can if you see that simulation is finished you can stop it manually and here is your animation object fell down and demolished so in this way you can, if you, if you are want to re-simulate, you can go to manager and delete the layer, just create it. So now you have this one solid object again. So let's say you want to have one more. Let's say put it over and uh, add it in the list here and start simulation again. Okay, so here's your simulation. Now let's uh, take a look at other properties. So uh, as I mentioned, uh, here you can define material for object you want to demolish. And uh, there is a couple of metal material like heavy metal, light metal. And if you will set here any of these metal materials, uh, the object won't be demolished. No matter how low is solidity, it won't be demolished. And here is material preset list. And as you can see, there's uh, all these materials which you, you can find here. All the same materials you can find here. And this is a place where you can play with all these preset properties. So uh, as you can see, heavy metal has density is 11 and light metal density is 8 so if you and here's a dense rock with density 4 and the pore rock with density 2.5 and as you can see there's a interactive demolish, demolition properties here and for dense rock and pore rock it's on and for light metal it's off and the same for let's say rubber it's also off which means that you cannot demolish rubber material but for glass it's on brick is on so you can uh, if you are not uh, happy with so let's say you def define here some porous rock for this object and you want to edit 
uh, how it will be behave during simulation. You can change a material here to some other material or you can set here pro stroke and play with its properties here like density, friction, bounciness and solidity. Uh, also as you can see the dense rock has solidity 22 and porous rock is 12 which means it will be easier to demolish porous rock material uh, not and dense rock will be uh, harder to demolish okay now uh, let's take a look at this demolition properties here so the first property is material solidity and as you saw it allows to demolish objects even if they should not be demolished in real life uh, the next property is death level and uh, by default it's one and let's take a look at one object here so uh, let's see I want you okay so uh, let's say I will set here 150 so I will have less fragments and let's start baking fall down and here are fragments. I will cancel simulation and set death level here to 2. And as you can see, it fell down. And there is a second death level of the interactive motion start happening. I will pause it. Now, as you can see, some first we got first level like this object. This is a fragment from level one demolition, and here fragments from this fragment. So here it was solid, and then impact happened, and it was demolished. Further. So this is what depth level 2 does. And uh, let's continue. And as you can see, with depth level 2, you can create a lot of fragments just at one take. So as you can see some fragments here wasn't demolished second time and this is because this probability level probability percent property it's 70 percent right now and it means that uh, only 70 percent from fragments from first level will be demolished further and 30 percent won't be demolished so if you want let's cancel it and I will put here material solidity point two. So if you want uh, like second death level for very few fragments, you can put here like 50%. Start break again. And you can see now we have more fragments from first level. But uh, Fragments from second level still too much, so I can cancel it and put here like 10, maybe 8 percent. So you can see this is much better now. Now, another way it's actually not about demolition, but uh, I think it would be better to mention. Uh, as you can, as you saw, the Warner fragments looks pretty uh, flat. So you can set the solution one, and just one property. Put it one, and uh, next time you will start demolition. You can see this fragments looks much more real.
Uh, the next property is def ratio, uh, and it allows you to define the amount of fragments you will get on the second and other demolition levels. So first, uh, uh, demolition level takes its uh, iterations and fragmentation here. It means 100 uh, iterations will be used for first level demolition, and uh, for second and other demolition levels, it will be used. Uh, 100 multiplied by this value, it means that only 40 uh, iterations will be used for next, for second and other demolition levels. So let's set here 0 0.1 and the probability will be 100, which means all the fragments will go to the next level. And let's start break. So here you can see that it was demolished to 100 iterations and uh, let's say this fragment that in fact were demolished to very few fragments, not so much. And uh, let's delete it now and set here the ratio to let's say 1, which means that we will get a lot of fragments, much more than this time. Start back again. Now it will start to look like a mess. As you can see, much more fragments than previous time. So now I can delete it. And uh, next property is time delay. And by default, it's zero. And which uh, this property allows you to add some time before the second, uh, some safe time before the second uh, demolition level happen, because as you saw. Usually when you start, when the object fall down, it creates first level fragments and then old fragments start demolishing again at the same, the very next frame. And sometimes you want these fragments to like uh, jump uh, some other place and then be demolished. So uh, here you can set time delay to let's say 10 frames. And if we will set, let's decrease the ratio to 0.2. So if I will start simulation again, here's the first demolition level. As you can see, it starts demolition only after some time. In this case, it's 10 frames. So you start get all these secondary demolitions only after some time. And again, if we will set here to zero, start break. Here you see that all the first level and second level demolition happen at the same time. So using this time delay, you can make, make your simulation a little bit more real. Okay, uh, that was properties from the first basic uh, interactive demolition setup. I will talk more about all other properties in the next tutorial. Uh, so thank you for watching. Goodbye.